Hi everyone. Welcome to this episode on time lapse photography. I am Naveen and I have my colleague Rohit with me from the Nikon India technical team. Hi Naveen. Hi. Talking about time lapse photography is always interesting. It's quite an excitement uh, that we get. Uh, time lapse photography is uh, the, the process of making itself is so interesting. Yeah. And uh, the end, end result that you get is quite exciting. In fact, it has been a craze of late. Now, almost, you know, in almost every video today, there's bits of time lapse, I can say. Absolutely, absolutely. So, Naveen, could you tell our viewers what is time lapse uh, photography all about? Definitely. Okay, um, if you look at it this way, Rohit, haven't you seen those uh, videos where you know, clouds move very fast or you can see day turning into night over a couple of minutes or even stars fanning across night sky. So these are time lapse. So basically anything that is captured that happens over a longer duration and it's compressed into a shorter duration. That is the simplest way to put it. But uh, why don't you explain to our viewers a little bit more elaborate. Let's sure. go a little technical. See, time lapse photography is a process where your camera captures multiple images at a certain interval. Right. And then the camera's inbuilt capability uh, makes basically combines all those images to produce some stunning videos. And it's a full HD video. It's, it's, it's a full yeah. HD video. Absolutely. Uh, unlike in time lapse photography, interval timer basically gives you individual pictures. Absolutely. So that way you have much better control over every single frame that you will be ultimately making into a time lapse video. Now, in order to make a video out of individual images, all you need to do is download your images to any video editing software and render it according to your requirement. I, I think we need to go to a place uh, which have all the elements for time lapse. So where do you sure. think we should be heading, Naveen? You know what, Rohit? Uh, again, Kerala is one place where nature unfolds itself in front of you. You have all the key elements of nature in one frame. So I can't think of a better place to shoot a good time lapse right now. Oh, that sounds like a plan. Let's head to Kerala then. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, Rohit. So here we are back again in Kerala this time. Yeah. Here we are shooting some time lapse videos. So, uh, but before we start shooting, what, how do you feel about the view? I mean, look at that. Naveen, I can't complain. This is one of the most amazing views. Exactly. And it has all the recipe that you need for the time lapse videos. Absolutely. Uh, we have uh, the mist and the fog going across the frame. Yeah. So, which is going to be very dynamic. Right. And uh, with the right settings, we will have a very very good time lapse. Right. Now, uh, about settings again, which is a very crucial factor, I, I should say, Absolutely. especially when it comes to time lapse photography. Like earlier, we mentioned, this is a process where the camera keeps on taking images. Yeah. So there has to be absolute uniformity between each image. If yeah. there's even the slightest variation, your time lapse photography goes for a toss. Okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, um, if you're thinking about the feature, even if you don't have a built in time lapse feature, which is right now, there on almost all the models for our FX range, the full yeah. frame range. Yeah. However, on the DX cameras, most of them have the interval timer, which That's does right. almost the same thing like a built-in time lapse, but it gives us still images. Yeah, it's not uh, the, the time lapse is an automated process where it makes a movie exactly. for you. Yeah. Whereas with the interval, you got to do it yourself. Exactly. In a time lapse video, the settings are the most key. Yeah. You choose exactly. your location with the right settings, uh, depending on how the movement is happening. Yeah. You choose your interval, Absolutely. which is which is going to decide how your video is going to be. Yeah. So let's see what settings we can use. Now, yeah, this comes really handy, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. That's the D750 that we are using here with a 20mm, the latest 20mm 1.8 lens. The best part I love about this is the very angle. Oh, so, that's, that yeah. comes in handy because exactly. in this situation, you want to look up yeah. what you're framing. So that comes in really, very handy. Now, I don't have to bend down every time. So that comes really handy. About the settings, first lesson or first tip, shoot manual because everything has to be under your control. Absolutely. There's no yeah. chance for making errors in manual mode. Very Plus, true. your settings will be consistent. It doesn't keep variating even if the light changes. So, uh, first, like I said, manual mode. 
सेकेंड बींग आर क्वालिटी तो आई गेस लेट्स गो फॉर क्लाउड क्लाउड इज गुड इनफ एब्सोल्यूटली picture control like uh, the newest of our dslrs have the flat feature so since we are making our video let's put it on flat flat would be good absolutely now what we need to concentrate a lot more is on the time lapse menu that uh, we have on our cameras you set the interval based on how the scene is dynamic exactly in case you have a fast moving cloud yeah you choose basically a smaller interval right but if you have a slower moving subject or the clouds absolutely you would choose a larger interval so as you can see here right now if you consistently look at the clouds it's not very fast moving yeah. right so i think in this situation we're going to choose something uh, longer yeah uh, by longer we mean the, the the interval duration so here let's say if i'm setting 4 second what that means is in every 4 second the camera is shooting an image absolutely yeah, yeah? so uh, for this i'll prefer to go with a 4 second interval yeah that'll be great yeah shooting time is basically for how long do you want your camera to do this job to keep shooting images because let's say uh, if this cloud from the left to the right that's what we intend to capture the moment yeah. we have a fair idea now i'm making this wild guess that it might happen within say 30 minutes mm -hmm. since the movement is slow what do you feel i think that's absolutely right and uh, the other way to look at it is once you choose your interval or right. uh, the shooting uh, time yeah. what you could see is it generally calculates for you what is the duration yeah. of the video it will even show you the output duration of your video say so, it'll tell you are you going to get a 10 second long video or are you getting a 12 second right now it says 12 12 yeah generally a thumb rule is like we generally try to do minimum of 10 seconds video right. that right. gives you a very good perspective exactly. of the entire video exactly yeah. shooting time right now i'll be going for say 50 minutes 50 minutes is ideal yeah, yeah. so uh, i hope we are making this very clear the shooting time is 50 minutes so in 50 minute in during every 4 second the camera is shooting an image absolutely so right now i'll switch this off and one very important tip you auto focus your camera first you lock your focus and switch your lens to m mode Key reason being on auto focus mode for every single shot the camera auto focuses so ideally let's lock focus yeah right now my focus is locked on the road that you can see because that sort of is conveying the mid ground yeah my settings are uh, f10 uh, in fact i'll get it to f11 that that gets me a good depth of field yeah as you must have seen from our uh, landscape episodes uh, the f11 would be ideal because we want most of e almost everything in focus exactly let's first try shooting a still image just to see how the uh, exposure works out it's a very good idea to check the exposure yeah. before you start exactly i think timer. i think this works fairly good yeah so once you lock your uh, still image if you feel exposure is fine you have locked the focus now we go to the same menu time lapse photography and now that it's set let's press on the start button listen closely and let's just listen to the music of the camera for some seconds There you go. Yeah. You're, you're hearing the click, so it's exactly. basically taking pictures at our set interval. Yeah. In this case, we have chosen four seconds. Four seconds. Yeah. yeah. So in every four second, this guy will keep doing its job. Okay, Rohit. So let the camera do its job before yeah. our legs go to sleep. Let's oh, just absolutely. Stand up. Yeah. Now uh I don't think there there's a lot to shoot for interval time or here in order to explain this a lot more better Rohit let's head to a different location I think that'll be great for interval time we will we'll go to a new location Let's yeah. do that All right guys so as you have already seen We have managed to grab a pretty nice uh, time lapse video using the inbuilt time lapse feature on our DSLRs. Now let's move on to the interval timer. Now, uh, when we talk about interval timer, this is specifically for all all you guys who don't have the built-in time lapse feature. Uh, having said that, there are certain advantages that you particularly get by using the interval timer mode. This is a process where the camera does not compile your still images into a video like what time lapse used to do for you you actually get you know sort of still images you get still images for your interval timer 
But before we get into the shooting bit of it, uh, Rohit, why don't you tell us about the manual settings that can be used on yeah, the absolutely. camera? Absolutely. Which uh, is, I guess, a very key factor. Very, for very key factor. Uh, first and foremost, it's very important for uh, you to make sure that you you lock your exposure. So right. whatever you're trying to shoot, correct. It's essential that you lock your exposure and uh, make sure any of the uh, none of the features uh, like white balance and uh, other aspects are turned auto. Hmm. Make sure they're all uh, turned off hmm. and they're not in the auto mode. Okay. And then uh, once you've got your exposure, it is very essential to switch the lens from an autofocus to a manual mode. One another major difference when you set for, you know, built-in time lapse and interval timer is there's a little bit more of mathematics included when it's about interval timer. Because you have to have a rough calculation of how long do you want Absolutely. the video, yes. how how many pictures do you want the camera to shoot. So there are certain uh, parameters which will be here on the camera. All right. So how do you do this calculation? Remember that the videos that you usually see on your television screen is played back at 24 fps which means in a second the television screen is playing 24 images now consider that you need a uh, interval timer video of say which lasts for two seconds which means in a second it's playing 24 images two seconds makes that 48 images so you need your camera to come up with at least 48 images to make a two second long video that's based on the calculation that we do but our suggestion is shoot a little bit extra number of frames because you never know what kind of effect you want in your output video. So shoot a little bit of extra number of images. If it's 48 images, I would suggest shoot at least 64 or even 80 would be fair enough to do that because once you set it on your camera, camera does the rest of the job for absolutely, you. Absolutely, absolutely. It's yeah. always wise to shoot more. Absolutely, yeah. exactly. So let the camera do the job uh, while it shoots. We'll also uh, show you a couple of interval timer videos that we have managed to collate. So uh, let's head back to the studio, Rohit. Yeah, I yeah. think that's a good idea. Let's do that. Rohit, just like I told you, so uh, we'll just show you the video, the time-lapse video, but literally nature was actually unfolding itself. Just have a look at it, this is a night sky. Before we leave, let us show you a couple of time-lapse videos more that we have shot during various outdoor workshops conducted at Nikon School. Uh, till next time, I'm Naveen and uh, Rohit, your Nikon buddies, signing off.